Welcome to Pipeline Effects University. Today we'll be learning about Cinema 4D job submission. Let's go ahead and open up Cube. What we'll need to do first is install the in-app UI. This enables you to submit jobs from within your application. Open File, Install App UI, Install Cinema 4D App Finder. You need to only do this for the first time after you've installed Cube or after you've updated to a new version. You'll need to select your scripts folder in your Cinema 4D installation. You may need an administrative privilege in order to write these files. You can see here these files are already in my scripts folder. Let's open up Cinema 4D. Here's a simple scene I've already loaded. It's very important when rendering on networked machines to ensure your projects, scenes, textures, etc are visible to all machines on a network mount. It's worth noting that any plugins that you use in your scene will also need to be installed on the worker machines. Under the script window you'll see the cube submission button. Let's go through the job submission window. First, let's open expert mode so we can see the extended job parameters. You can see here the range has already been filled from the scene file. For this demonstration I'm going to leave instances set to 1, as I'm only rendering on my machine. In your environment, this would differ depending on the size of your farm. I'm going to select render on all cores. This tells the worker to reserve all CPU cores for this job. You can also set the number of threads. This is useful for when you want to limit how much CPU is being used. Once again, double check that your scene file and assets are on a network location. You can see here the reservations have been set to 1 plus. This has been automatically filled from the render on all cores tick box. On a larger farm, you can also select your hosts and groups. A useful feature is to enable retry frame and instance. By setting this to 1, you will automatically retry a failed frame. Let's set the defaults. This automatically closes the window. When we reopen the submission window, you can see the defaults have been saved. Let's submit the job. You can see from this confirmation the job has been submitted. Let's open up Cube you can see the job's rendering. For more information, visit docs.pipelineeffects.com.